back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today's video is definitely new for me because I am going to be making a vegan recipe for you guys. Now this recipe is for my vegan blueberry oatmeal muffins, and they are so delicious, guys. I swear, you will not even realize that they're vegan. I actually gave these muffins to my dad, and he said they were some of the best muffins he's ever tried, and when I told him they were vegan, he was shocked. I will of course have the written recipe and directions on my blog post, ladolcelisa.com, so visit that or check out the description bar down below and I will have that link there as well. two cups of frozen wild blueberries. A lot of the time when I buy blueberries, I really love to buy the frozen wild variety. The only problem is you don't want to put anything that is frozen into this muffin recipe. What I do is I rinse them under warm water and I put them in this strainer and let some of the water drip out. So I basically strain them out so that they are sort of room temperature and not so frozen anymore. You can of course use regular blueberries that are just fresh, but I really do love these frozen wild blueberries and I feel like they add that much of a better taste and texture to these muffins. So these are kept aside until I need them and they are the last things of course to go into the muffins so just set them aside for now. So we have one cup of almond milk. I'm using unsweetened almond milk. You can use any vegan milk of your liking. This is just my favorite. And then I also have one tablespoon of an extract. I like to use a vanilla extract so we are going to add that right to the bowl. And now most importantly is one teaspoon of an acid. I am just using regular white vinegar. You can use lemon juice or you can even use apple cider vinegar. It is your choice. So now that we have this wet mixture, we're going to set that aside and while we are baking the muffins, this will curdle a little bit, almost like making your own homemade version of a buttermilk, but this is of course vegan. So we are going to set that aside and work on everything else. Okay, now we are going to be working on the the dry part of this mixture. So first we need two cups of all-purpose flour. So one cup, two cups of all-purpose flour. To that we are going to be adding half a cup of oats. I like to use quick cooking oats because it is really good for baking, so just half a cup of oats. To that we are going to be adding the leavening, so we are going to be adding one tablespoon of baking powder as well as a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And finally, half a teaspoon of salt. And I like to just give this a quick mix to combine. And now, much like that other wet mixture, this dry mixture is going to be set aside for now. So let's start with the oil. We are going to be using half a cup of vegetable oil. You can, of course, use canola oil or sunflower oil or any oil of your liking, so long as it is vegan, of course. And then to the oil, we are going to be adding our sugar, half a cup of white sugar, and then one quarter of a cup of brown sugar that I carefully packed in, so it's not loose, it's tightly packed. You'll be able to see when I get it out. There you go. <laughs> and now we are going to give this a good whip. Okay, so now that the sugar and oil are nicely mixed, we can get this wet mixture. That was the almond milk mixture. And we can slowly pour that in. And now we are going to give that a nice mix as well, just to incorporate with the other ingredients. Now we are just going to be adding that dry mixture. And rather than adding a little bit at a time as we do for most baked goods, I'm adding the whole thing and I'm going to start mixing this slowly at first, but we're just really mixing to incorporate. Try not to over mix at this stage. So that looks about perfect. I have only mixed for, I would say, under a minute. <laughs> but we're mixing to incorporate. It still looks a bit chunky and that is what we actually like. Now remember these blueberries, they are nicely at room temperature. We are just going to dump them in. And at this stage, I like to fold with a spatula just because you don't want to over mix the batter or smush all your blueberries. So we just gave this a quick mix to incorporate and now we are going to make the topping for these muffins. So let's set this aside before we put them in the muffin tins and let's quickly make a nice topping. First, 
to reinforce the oats in this recipe, I use one third of a cup of those same quick cooking oats. I also use one fourth of a cup of brown sugar. To that, I'm adding one tablespoon of oil, that same vegetable oil that I already used, a half a tablespoon of almond milk. Now you just want a pinch of salt, so I just do a shake or two and also a pinch of cinnamon. This is optional. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to put this, but it makes such a nice warm flavor. So just one or two little shakes. So let's give that a quick mix. So now that we have this wet sugary oat mixture, it is ready to put on top of the muffins. So let's assemble our muffins. probably want to preheat your oven to 375. You can of course even preheat that earlier on. I'm just not because then it will make so much noise. So after I do this, I'm going to preheat my oven. Now, usually I would use these to bake my muffins in, but I can't find cupcake liners that are big enough for these huge trays. So what I did once when I actually ran out of this, which is a good tip if you don't have these on hand, because not everyone has these on hand, but I just cut up two strips of parchment paper and I put them in like a sort of cross section over. So I'll show you what that looks like. Just two strips. You don't have to be perfect about it. And then I lay these inside these muffin tins. These muffin tins are well loved, guys. I'm, I'm obsessed with these huge muffin tins. Now I find that I like to start with a quarter of a cup in each muffin. A quarter of a cup that is really heavily <laughs> laced here with batter. I just place that in at first in each muffin just so I ensure every muffin has an equal amount of filling and blueberries and things like that. And then with just the leftover little batter, we're just gonna place it into any muffin that we feel like got gypped out of enough batter. So, <laughs> no waste and exactly six muffins. Perfect for breakfast. So now it's time to put the topping on top. I'm getting about a tablespoon and throwing a tablespoon on each muffin. We're going to pat them down in a second. We want them again to all be topped equally. We don't want a huge chunk in the middle. We kind of want it to go everywhere. So just spread out the topping just a little bit with this tablespoon here. Now this topping is definitely going to spread in the oven. I just like to help it along. So I just spread it around. It's going to spread around and it's going to coat these muffins really nicely. So this is super delicious. Okay, so our oven is set to 375 degrees and the muffins are going in there for I would say anywhere from 25 to 28 minutes or so. This is because I made six large muffins. If you're making smaller ones, you might wanna keep them in there for 22 to 25 minutes. It is all just depending on how many you actually end up making. But I have six large ones and I wanna make sure they're cooked very well. So of course guys, check in with a toothpick and if it comes out clean, they're finished. If not, they might need two to three more minutes in the oven. Okay guys, so these are the muffins. Aren't they beautiful? They've been cooling in here for I would say about 15 minutes or so, which is great. Now we can pop them out and let them cool further before we eat them. We can run a knife along the edge of our muffins and they should, yeah, they should lift out quite easily. See how easy they lift it out? So I'll show you guys when I lift this one out. See, you can see how it's here and when we want to eat them, we just peel it back and it's so easy to remove the wrapping. So I'm just going to take these out, let them cool for a couple minutes and I'll see you back here in a second to eat these. So I have my muffin here, it is still a little bit warm. <laughs> I'm just going to lightly peel off this parchment paper which comes off very easily. As you can see, these are quite high and hefty muffins, they are so delicious. So let's take a bite out of these blueberry muffins. Oh my god, they're so good. Mm. So can you see how delicious this muffin looks? It is so good. I promise you won't even realize it's vegan. And if you are vegan, I really hope that you add this recipe to your repertoire and this is gonna be your new favorite vegan breakfast item. I swear, it is just so good. I just love these things, so I can't wait to eat the rest of this off of camera, of course, and have these for breakfast as well. You can just leave these at, of course, room temperature until you're ready to eat them the next day. I like to leave them out because they still have a little bit of this liner at the bottom, so they will not dry out by any means. 
Mm. That delicious oat crumble on top is so good. These are of course not too sweet. They are just right and I really love the addition of the wild blueberries. All natural vegan blueberry oatmeal muffins. They are my favorites and I hope that they will become your favorites as well. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you're making them. And of course, like I said, if you would like the written recipe as well, please don't forget to check the description box for my recipe on ladolcelisa.com. I will have all the ingredients and instructions written on there as well as a few more photos as well. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will of course see you in my next video. Happy baking!